welcome to Hubie and Talents. My name is Sky Bambi and today we will be kind of reviewing the BBT Club Bubble Tea Kit. So I got this for my birthday from one of my close friends. I think she knows about my obsession with bubble tea. Um, <laughs> so this will just help fuel that obsession. And yeah, I'm really excited to go through it. Um, I think it's like a make your own type of bubble tea. So I've never done that before. So I'm very excited. <laughs> First up, I will be opening up the cup, well the reusable cup. Um, so on the back it says why it's the best cup ever, so I'll just read that to you quickly. So double wall keeps your beverage cool and your cup condensation free, which means no sweat. So BPA free, ideal sizing, easy fits in most of the standard cup holders, leak proof lid, which is really good because <laughs> I have a habit to like knocking over all my drinks. Oh all the time, it's so frustrating. And the leaf lid is equipped with a silicon seal for leaf proof. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Lid with stopper, put on the stopper and you can just chuck it in your bag. What? Okay, no, I'm interested to see that. <laughs> User friendly straw, standard 12 millimeter size, reusable bubble tea straw, made from food grade material. And the stopper prevents the straw from falling out. A straw cleaner brush is also included. Okay, this sounds amazing. All right, I'm definitely excited to open this up, so let's go. A bit anti-climactic, but still excited. I'll try and do it slow mo In fact, no. <laughs> okay, cool. So it says bubble tea exclusive on the top in white writing, and then it has the bubble tea club, and got the, their image on the side. And it is double lined, which is really cool. It says official bubbler on the end. I guess that's what they were talking about with the, the stopper. So I'll open up the straw as well, and we'll see. Easy open. All right, it's got that like famous bubble tea straw piercer. Interesting. So then how do I have to unscrew this first? I'll put that in here. Ah, okay, so that's what it meant by the stopper. So there was a little clear ring around the straw so that way it doesn't come out. And I guess that also stops it from leaking as well. And then if I want to chuck it in my bag, I feel like we should test the leak proof. I feel like I should fill this with water and then tip it upside down. Let's try that. So I've just filled this up with water. <sighs> now we're going to test it. I feel like I could regret this, but we'll see. All right, the lid stopper is on. Just make sure it's really... <laughs> this could end very badly. Okay, ready? Alright, so I could literally just throw this into my bag and have no issue. So then we have the straw cleaner. Perfect. And then I'll go through the syrups now. So we have the peach flavored syrup, the lychee flavored syrup, um, fructose syrup, and the mango syrup. I think, oh, I feel like peach, oh, mango. Peach or mango is probably going to be my favorite, I'll be honest. And then we have the pearls, which are like tight locked into this bag. It's going to be very interesting on how, what I have to do with this. I'm going to have to try this out. And of course, the tea bags. So it has black premium, um, premium black tea and premium green tea. I love both, so <laughs> equally, I'm sure I'm going to use both of them just as much. So yeah. Um, I think I should try making bubble tea and see how that goes. Okay, so I'm going to try the, I think, premium black tea first. Place one premium black tea bag in 250 milliliters of hot water, steep for one to five minutes, depending on how strong you like, and then remove the tea bag. Alright, so we have Z tea bag, and now we'll place it in the cup. And then we have the 250 milliliters of hot water. So we'll leave it in there for about one to five minutes. Uh, let's go for the full 
five minutes. I like my tea strong, so we'll leave it for one to five minutes. And I think I'll start making the pearls. So now I'm going to put the fruit tea in. I'm gonna go with peach for my first one. So it says to mix two tablespoons of fruit syrup with one cup of 250 milliliters. I've also removed the tea bag as well. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's try. Um, I almost spilt it everywhere. <laughs> I'll undo this first. Two tablespoons feels like a lot. Cool, cool, cool. And then I think I have to add the fructose. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that correctly. That would be this one? This one, yeah. Okay, cool. So, where is the instructions? It doesn't say how much to pour. Uh, so I can scan the QR code for more instructions, but I'm using my phone to record. So you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna wing it. I'll just do one tablespoon of fructose. And I like ah. Uh, if it needs more sweetening, I can always add more. All right, and then we will put the bubble teas in and hope for the best. <laughs> So I have put the pearls into a cup and I'm just boiling water at the moment. I'm just going to start with this amount. Um, so less than a quarter of a cup and then we'll see how that goes. The pearls are done. I just tested one. It's so weird chewing it like without the flavorings. It was just this like bland chewiness. <laughs> But the, I boiled them for about, I would say, just less than 20 minutes. So now I'm going to drain them and then I also put my drink in the fridge to make it cool. And we're going to put it all together. So I'm just going to drain it quickly and then I'll pour it in. I'm so scared it's going to fall. That sounded horrible. Okay, so now the pearls are in the bottom and we are now going to try it out. Oh, I've got syrup everywhere. Okay to test it I'm really excited I'm just going to put the lid in with the stopper put that through it's mixed in all right ready <laughs> it's good I left the tea bag in for five minutes as well honestly Oh, uh, it could do with a bit more sugar, like fructose, but it honestly doesn't really need it. The one tablespoon of fructose is fine. If you want it a bit sweeter, if you're used to your drinks being a bit sweeter, I would probably go with two tablespoons, but yeah, I like this. Now, I would probably recommend after, it doesn't really need it, but if you want to have the um, pearls soak up a bit more of the flavor, I would definitely, after you pour them in, put it in the fridge, wait a while, and then while it's kind of like mixed together a bit more and settled, um, then drink it, also because the pearls will be cool. Like the drink as well, but it definitely tastes amazing. Oh, I sense a very strong addiction coming. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this was really cool to make. It was super fun. I'm definitely going to try different recipes and stuff like that. If you scan the QR code, it says that there's 10 times, like, there's heaps of recipes that they have. So I'm definitely going to try all those out. And I might make another video trialing the recipes they have. So that'll be exciting. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have an amazing day. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, like and subscribe if you want to. It'd be great. But yeah, thank you. Bye. Thank you.